Hello everyone. After so much anticipation, we finally find ourselves a week before departure to this adventure that we spent the last two months preparing. We had spent one month at my second home, Lake Garda, to work out what we really wanted this project to be and for Nina to learn sailing. And one month in Nina's second home, the Maltese island of Gozo, to prepare everything necessary, which went from creating a website and YouTube channel to me learning how to edit video. After such a long time wrapping our heads around the project, loads of heartwarming support from family and friends, but also a few quite emotionally draining discussions, we were just very eager to finish our preparation and finally set off. But as you'd expect, a huge pile of jobs was still on the list. With the goal to let people take part in our adventures, we're still figuring out how to turn our thoughts into interesting videos. Being complete beginners, we have already experimented with different types of videos in the weeks before. From classic talking to the camera, to wildly jumping around cliffs and self-sewn clothes, trying to capture our inspiration. While the results might be very questionable from a videographer's point of view, the most important criteria for us is to show us the way we are rather than to produce what the YouTube algorithm likes. And at least at that, I think we have succeeded. This week, our English introduction video was on the agenda. After a few failed attempts in Gozo, we now went by the following process. Write a text and learn it by heart. Trying to improvise on the spot is hopeless. Find a nice spot in nature and take clothes that allow you to stay in the cold for more than two hours. If you haven't, foolishly run up and down the hill after the first shot to keep your hands from freezing. Get a grip and shoot the video. Freeze the rest of your body trying to capture the stunning beauty of German autumn. Get ready to fight the editing software for a few hours and then proudly present your new video. All right, guys, big moment happening in Wandering Minds history. We are about to publish our first freaking video. After one month of preparation. Whoop, whoop, whoop. In the next step, we had to make our backpacks ready for a trip around the world, which, as you might imagine, is not exactly straightforward. On our trip in spring, we learned that when underway for a long time, you appreciate well-working systems for all aspects of daily life, instead of dealing with compromises all the time, which means mess in your backpack. So we're certainly not traveling light, but we are all set up for independence and comfort. The base for all of it is our camping equipment. The living room. Um, this is all we need to set up our camp wherever we are. Uh, the most important being obviously our tent, our two sleeping bags, uh, our super luxurious double size um, like sleeping pad. We do have, I mean, our actual living room is this one. It's our picnic blanket, which we absolutely love. We got this one in Barcelona and it's never uh, left us since then. And this is my favorite part, or also the most important part of our luggage, because this really keeps um, keeps us in a good mood and makes us function. This is the kitchen! And this time we decided that it's important to have two good pots that are light but that can also be put into fire. So they're made out of titanium and they will hopefully last for a lifetime. And you can actually, that's the coolest part, uh, you can actually steam something in it so we can like cook our pasta and then, I don't know, catch some fish or collect some clams or whatever we have and uh, steam it here on top. 
and a very important, actually our, <laughs> our animal, uh, our little pet. This is my sourdough uh, that actually needs to be fed before we leave, otherwise it won't survive. And this will keep up the mood on board when we're there with our two French friends and we can make baguettes in the morning. How is it called? It doesn't have a name yet. Hmm. I think it should be called Otto. No. Yes. Otto is such a cool name. But you know, actually it's there are many inside. Like it's not just one. Many little Ottos. Many, many Ottos. And I have to show you our brand new kitchen. Or like our kitchen shelves. It's a prototype. It still has room for improvement, but I'm pretty satisfied already. Because it's so important to like be fast when you're hitchhiking or when you're uh, setting up a tent and it's getting dark and everybody's hungry and you need to cook fast. So then you just open this and there's your chopping board with two nice thingies to not burn your hands. Then we actually have a knife sharpener because <laughs> on our last trip we were just traveling with a pocket knife and it was so dull in the end and it wasn't really fun. And then this is our spice, spice collection and actually also our pharmacy because uh, a lot of spices really help to find upcoming colds, sore throat, seasickness and so on and so on. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Since we want to be able to capture and share moments wherever we are in the world, we carry with us a small film studio, a laptop for editing videos, a tablet, a camera, a drone, a travel tripod, a power bank, and a solar charger. And since I won't travel without my guitar, I was kind of in a bad place to tell Nina she couldn't have a yoga mat. So here we go, our camper van on four uh, legs. Each object carefully selected to cover exactly our needs, not less and not more. And to both of our surprise, we managed to trick physics again. On our last trip, we had half of the technical equipment, no yoga mat and our backpacks were in constant danger to explode. And this time, we fit everything in there on the first try and even had some space to spare. With the organizational part kind of over, <laughs> it was time for the real important stuff, which was saying goodbye to family and friends and sharing what we're planning to do. And it was beautiful to see the reactions, how people's eyes started to gleam and everybody remembered their own dreams and plans or things they've done. And uh, we got a lot of feedback that, yeah, this is now the perfect moment to, to do such kind of adventures because now we're young and free and, yeah. On the other hand, we also did get quite direct rough feedback from close, close members of our circle of loved ones. <laughs> and that included things like we're living in a dream world, like we should have a look at all the horror that is going on if you open the news. And why would we go elsewhere? Why don't we stay in Germany and fix things here and take a job and take responsibility to pay into the pension, pension fund and to um, keep supporting the social market economy we've been born and raised in. And why this is all these are all valid opinions. We, for ourselves, um, have decided otherwise. Yeah. I mean, just to wrap this up one time, <clears throat> in general, we just, whatever feedback we get, if it's constructive, we're super grateful for. So people, if you, if you feel uh, you want to say something, whoever, go out, <coughs> go out, <coughs> excuse me, go out there and do it. 
for us, this trip is about gathering experiences that hopefully are um, relevant to becoming a part of a change for the better in the world. And um, so in our opinion, um, since we're facing a global problem, climate change and also all the social inequalities that we have, um, it doesn't really make a, make a difference where you start working on it. Um, and secondly, of course it's not necessary to travel uh, to have a positive impact. Certainly not. Um, but for us this trip is about learning, as we said, and um, we just experience for ourselves that when we expose ourselves to life um, the way we do with very little, uh, very little budget for our daily spendings and um, just relying on the encounters that we get on the trip um, makes us see realities that we just wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, and so for us this trip is just about getting out of this uh, wealthy and, and, and beautiful uh, comfortable bu bubble that we were both raised in. Um, and yeah, in our experience just uh, learnings that you gather from experiences that you had yourself in an environment um, where you were with people and, and, and talked to people who were in need uh, or who experienced like rough yeah, just different things to the ones that we're used to. Um, these are learnings that just last longer by orders of magnitude and are so much richer and that's why we chose to travel. On the more pleasant side of things, the Christmas preparations were up. And since we wouldn't be there for the actual Christmas celebration, we made sure that it just felt like it. After baking vanilla kipfel and all other types of cookies and making an advance crunch with my grandparents, we felt like we at least had part in the preparations for Christmas. For sharing the fate of having children in constant urge to throw themselves into adventures, our parents had reached out to one another to organize a dinner, bringing together the two families. While the occasion had been planned on really good intentions, with the various controversies our travel ambitions had caused, we couldn't help biting our nails that the discussion would take an unexpected turn for the worse. So, when the day had come, we prepared a plentiful table and had our freshly cut art video ready for the premiere. And with the moment our parents met, we knew we were in for a fun night. After an evening full of laughter, stories and encouragement, our hearts were a ton lighter and we finally felt like everything was in line for us to leave. Good morning, guys. This is Friday, December 1st, and I've literally just woken up. And um, today is departure day. <laughs> I really can't believe it um, that after like two months of preparation, this is now finally coming together. There's a little, little bit of spice in our last day um, because we are going to be in TV today. Um, the SWR, the like Southwest German um, television, has invited us to yeah just have a chat to us and. Um, talk about our project for uh, 12 minutes, so I'm very exci excited. And then actually from there on, we're going to go right away um, to the, well, we're gonna have dinner in a restaurant with our, with our parents to say goodbye, and then we're going to go to the bus station and leave. So um, exciting times. And actually both of us are really looking forward by now to just getting on the road and, um, Whew, having the time to somehow process this quite intensive uh, time in the last days. You might tell by the uh, proud dark rings under my eyes <laughs> that, um, yeah, we've gone through a few interesting phases, um, among others also because not all of our friends and family were convinced uh, that this was the best, best idea for us to do now to go on a, on a travel project like this. But that's life, I guess. You, you live, you learn. <laughs> and the best thing is just as a kiss of goodbye from Germany. Look at this.
it's just been snowing the whole night and everything is covered in powder sugar. <laughs> What's going on? Emotions just came back. <laughs> we have all our stuff together, everything packed in our bags. Way too much to carry <laughs> for just two people. Yeah, we have like, we're two people and we have like two ginormous backpacks and then a guitar and like 50 other small bags. Not Just good. Nico and Nina style. Not good. But we get stronger, right? Yeah, I mean, what you don't have in your brain, you have in your legs, that's what the Germans say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so we're now driving to Stuttgart and we'll um, hopefully be there on time because... Um, there's, no there's quite some snow out there and uh, there's all of the roads except one to go to Stuttgart is cl are closed and there's the Christmas market starting <laughs> today. So um, there is a chance we get into a traffic jam but we have two and a half hours for a, for a, a, a trip that goes like for 20 minutes usually so should be fine. We're up to me. Good uh, and then we're ready to and go the best live. Part is I'm starting to feel some emotions. Some emotions. Some anticipation. Emotion anticipation. How's that? Happiness. Like like something that's built up for five months now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I can just kind of feel that tickle as well. Okay. Ah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Feels good. 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 Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's happening? We've just been to the mask and told them not to put too much makeup on. <laughs> and uh, now we're here waiting for another 40 minutes until we can go to the show. When do we when do we go to the show? So there's this nice little piece of information. So And this is where we are. Yoo and we'll first do an intro. And this is crazy. Talk. I never knew that actually like television is actually planned up to the second. Of and course this it is, is it says intro three minutes forty six, then twenty seconds of uh, no, this is intro, then thirty seconds, then thirty three thirty. This is crazy. So basically we always have three thirty. Herzlich willkommen, guten Abend. Ja, das ist jetzt erstmal von Frankreich zu den Kanaren, wird's spannend. Da geht es um Nachhaltigkeit und ähm, wir wollen ähm, Communities besuchen. Die Ideale davon sind ja einfach, wie können Menschen friedlich zusammenleben. Hallo ihr Lieben! Wir hatten sehr viel Spaß bei unserer äh, kleinen Sendung. Die Zeit ging super schnell rum. Also gefühlt musstest du immer sofort quatschen und dann war schon das nächste Thema wieder. Aber vielen Dank für eure schöne Nachricht und wir fahren jetzt zum Essen. So, right from the studio, we went to have dinner with our parents. And before we knew it, we stood at the bus station gave everyone a big hug and set off towards Paris. <laughs> we are freaking done. We're on our way. So guys, we just finished our um, television interview. Um, it went really well actually. Uh, very surprised how just casual people were and like just how friendly and open and uh, how much of a... And how many people are actually tramping. Yeah. So many people could relate. And so now we've had, to, had a good dinner in a restaurant uh, with our do two, like Last with her parents and my parents together. for the year. And um, it was so harmonious and it's just so funny how like within... Suddenly everybody's hyped. Suddenly everything has dissolved into just happiness. All of the doubts and all of the 
good and bad recommendations. <laughs> and um, so it's now fun. we were just at the bus terminal of Stuttgart. So we found out that our bus that we should have been uh, should should have taken uh, was like late for so many hours. So we just uh, took the initiative when we saw another bus to Paris, and we just bought two tickets for that one. Um, and so now, since two minutes, we're on the way, and we freaking made it and we are on the bus and on the road again and it just feels so incredibly good and now i switch off the camera because i feel really weird and everybody else is sleeping join us next week when after what felt like years of waiting we finally move on board our catamaran and celebrate the shakedown cruise it's first luminous today Will we manage to defeat the seasickness so that we can embark on a five-week trip across the Atlantic? <laughs>